technology has become essential in the role in, in a film composer's world. Um, composers, producers and directors know what our technology can do, just like they know exactly what a picture editor's technology can do. So a, a director can say, let's take those two shots and flip them to an editor. And they know that that's, you know, three mouse clicks and it's done. They, they're not asking, you know, something, you know, well, go, go take lunch and when you come back I'll have it. Uh, with composing, it's very much the same now. Directors know that we are capable of, of, of a pretty good uh, imitation of a full orchestra, that we can uh, create sounds from anywhere in the world, any era of time, uh, any style of music, and that the computer, using sequencing software, can, is, the, is sort of the, um, the palette upon which we paint. And so we have, you know, we may write 10, 20, 30 pieces of music in a film and they all get, you know, they all end up as files in the computer. But when you play them, with the right technology and knowing how to use the technology, you present. So after you've, every, have you've, written, after you've written a few more pieces, you have the director come and you play them off of your computer and they have to sound really good because that's the expectation. The bar has been raised very, very high. I think of my studio as my instrument. And to that extent, no instrumentalist can truly move an audience if they're not really brilliant at their instrument. So, you know, a, an amateur violinist it, it just sort of scratches out and sounds pretty bad, but a brilliant concert virtuoso violinist can bring an audience to tears. An amateur cannot. With composition, Obviously, composition can leave you cold or it can engage you, but since our goal is to create music at the highest level of production quality, like a record producer does, goes beyond the composition into how good it sounds in the recording. Um, playing your studio like Yasha Heifetz plays the violin is very important, very important, because there's a difference between passable and brilliant. So, and also for me, since a lot of my scores are electronic anyway, my demos are the final score. So they better be damn good and put a lot of thought in it, into it because anybody can go to a store and buy a synthesizer, whether it's, you know, hardware or software or whatever, and it comes with 500 patches and everybody uses them and drum machines with loops and everybody uses the same loops and it becomes it becomes predictable and it becomes cliche so um, I, I believe very strongly that my the depth of my knowledge in 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 the science of my and technology of my studio is no different than uh, what a fine fine instrumentalist puts into their time so that they get to become as, as expressive as possible. Without technique, there's no emotion. My studio is, is, has simplified over the years as, we've, as I've moved from hardware to software. I have a computer, a Macintosh, running uh, software, which is my, which lets me sequence my keyboard, play uh, acoustic, uh, in, you know, acoustically into it with my flutes or bring in a guitar player or sing or something, uh, loop processing, uh, a lot of things. That's that's it's my, it's it's where my music lies in my studio. I then have another couple of outside computers just for holding on to orchestral samples, so that I don't have to reopen them every time I open up a new song because it can take a long time. So I have uh, two computers just for uh, just a sort of a sample farm. Everything moves digitally through my studio and it flows into a program called Pro Tools, which is only for doing audio. But it's the program that every recording studio uh, in the film business uses. So all these dub stages, all these, um, all these sound stages uh, are pretty, pretty close to 100% Pro Tools. So I use Pro Tools simply as a method to deliver my score. My studio is set up in surround. So I have five speakers and a subwoofer, and I compose my music in order to take uh, as much advantage of that as possible without becoming distracting and clever. And um, 
everything else in my studio is basically software. I mean, I have some keyboards and a little little uh, control surface and some uh, drum, you know, uh, drum pads. But uh, all the sound and all the processing, all the reverbs, all the EQs, all the effects, all the compressors and limiters are all 100% software. 